In this video, I'm going to be reviewing the Cartier Louis Cartier gold-plated fountain pen. I'll go over the specs, I'll do a writing sample, and I'll tell you what I like and don't like about this pen coming up. Blake here with Blake's Broadcast. On this channel, I review fountain pens, paper, and ink, and as always, I put links in the show notes in the description below. So this is the Cartier Louis Cartier gold-plated fountain pen. So this has what I believe to be a brass body that is covered in a gold plating. And it has, for lack of a better term, these stripes, I'm going to say it's fluted. Uh, it has these fluted ridges. And it's a, a torpedo shape pen. You have this clip that goes up into the finial here. So it's sort of all integrated in that sense. You have a, a Cartier C here. At the back, you have a cabuchon, which I'm told is onyx. I don't know if it is or, or not. And then if we look up closer, you can see Cartier Paris on the cap ring. And then right below it, you can say, see made in France. And then if we turn it to the back here, we can see plaque O-R-G. So plaque, I don't know if I'm saying that right, it means plated or, I'm assuming means like or as in gold. So gold plate and then G, I don't know, something. <laughs> Not exactly sure what that means. And then we have a serial number on the side here. And that is pretty much it for the outside. There's a, a breather hole underneath the clip. Let's open up this. Okay, so with the cap off, we have this gold threading here. I have to say this is some of the smoothest threading I have ever experienced on a pen. It feels really, really nice. They did a great job with this. It just, you know, it exudes quality unscrewing the, the cap of this pen. We have a resin grip section here, then a gold part here with a little ridge here so you know not to grab further than that so you don't get your hands dirty. And then we have a really pretty 18 karat gold fine nib here, two-tone. Uh, I've got a double C Cartier logo here and then some yeah, flourishes. It's a very nice looking nib, I think. Now we have the feed underneath. I believe it's plastic. And this is a, and even, yeah, this threading is so nice, even here. <laughs> it's a cartridge converter pen. It takes a standard international cartridges, and it comes with a uh, Cartier branded converter. Not super fancy, but they do have, you know, nice little details like this gold bit on the end. And yeah, it says Cartier Paris. It's somewhat nicer than standard, not by a lot, I would say. Now, if you've noticed, this pen gets fingerprints, and, and I am having it here under quite bright lights, but there's no getting around it. This is a fingerprint magnet. Now, let's do some measurements, about 143, 142 millimeters long. Not super long, 131, 132 millimeters. I don't post this, I think you can. Feels okay, I'll measure it. Roughly 165. Let's do the width here for the grip section. So at the widest point, 11.3. At the skinniest point here, where it's tapered the most, 10.2. And then on the body, about the widest, 12.7, 54 and a half grams. That's a heavy pen. No getting around that. And uncapped, 30.6 grams. So it's it's a hefty pen. I don't find it to be uncomfortable to write with for a long time. It has a good weight. It's not too long. There isn't a lot of weight hanging off the back, but I've found that I can actually write with this for quite a long time. It would be uncomfortable posted because it is so heavy. Let's do the writing test. So this is a Cartier Louis Cartier. This is a fine nib. 
and this is st to pond blue. I know I'm I'm using this moo hardcover notebook. I am in the process of moving and my Maruman notebooks, I don't know where they are right now. <laughs> so sorry about this, sorry for the inconsistency here, but please uh, bear with me. So this is, here we go. Try faster. Than... Yeah, so let's see, we can try reverse writing. It's ooh, it's got a, it's got some teeth to it. Uh, it does seem able to do it. It's not a it's not very pleasant. And you know the difference, pretty minor, I would say. Yeah, this pen being an eighteen karat gold nib. It's it's pretty much a, a nail. You can get a little bit of flexibility like you you see here, but. I wouldn't push on it. It doesn't really respond to being pushed on. Yeah, it's pretty much a nail. This has been a very reliable pen for me. I know I say that every time, pretty much. I'm not going to, generally speaking, review a pen that I don't think is good. <laughs> but anyway, very. this is a pen that I love having on my desk. It is... A nice reliable writer I have there's no faults to this pen it it's a flawless performer for me so that's the writing sample so what are my pros and cons for the Cartier Louis Cartier fountain pen biggest pro here is the looks this thing looks really nice and it feels really nice that threading is some of the smoothest on any pen I have ever come across it just exudes quality the other nice thing about this pen is that because it is a Cartier product, it's something that will always have value. People outside of, you know, an interest in fountain pens will be interested in this because of that Cartier name. So it's always nice when you have a product that kind of can double dip into two types of collector. And this pen does that. So that is a big pro. The other thing that I like about this pen is that even though it's a metal body, you have a plastic or resin grip section, which I find personally comfortable for writing for longer periods of time. And then you also have this big, beautiful two-tone 18 karat gold nib, which is an excellent, super reliable writer. So Overall, it's just a really, really nice pen. Now, in terms of cons, the biggest one for me is that it's a fingerprint magnet. Now, when I'm using this on my desk regularly, the fingerprints don't really bother me. But I know that with these lights that I'm using now, when I go to review this film, I am going to be driven nuts by seeing all of the fingerprints all over this thing. So if you don't like fingerprints, this could be a problem for you. The other thing is the price. Now they haven't made this pen for quite a while, so that means that there's more of a, a range of prices that you can find this in. Yeah, I've seen them sell between $300 and $800. And certainly I think $500 and under for one in good condition is kind of a steal. This is a really really nice quality pen but it's definitely pricey there's no way around it it's a pretty gold plated pen and it's cartier the other con here would be that it is a heavier pen because it's metal it's not that light it's not a pen that i 
post, partly because I don't want to push the cap onto that gold plated finish, but also it would just, it would be too heavy. Unposted, it's, it's fine, but this is a heavy pen, no question about it. And those are really my main pros and cons for the Cartier, Louis Cartier fountain pen. Do you guys have this pen? Do you like this pen? Let me know in the comment section below. If you like this video, please hit that like button. And if you want to see more fountain pen paper and ink videos, please hit that subscribe button. Thank you guys so much, and until next time.